One of the things I love is how specialties come out dependent on geography. Now, the Swiss are known for their fastidiousness. The Germans are known for their cars and beer. The Russians, well, vodka. <laughs> and then there's the Italians. And they really know how to evoke lust, don't they? They do, which is probably why I spent so long simply gawking at what I had just picked up from the Moto Morini showroom. This is the Siemezzo 6.5, which is the word that comes up when your cat sits on your keyboard. For real though, Siemezzo means 6.5. Well, that's according to Google Translate at least. So in effect, this is called the 6.5, 6.5. This is like the La Ferrari all over again. Naming peculiarities aside, this thing is so good looking that I'd love to just not ride it and simply park it in my living room. Uh, conversation starters thereafter, yeah, they won't be in short supply. <laughs> but this isn't that kind of a show, so let's get a move on. Now, Moto Morini, they wanted this to be a middleweight naked. And boy, did they nail it. The Siemezzo can be picked in two avatars the retro street like the one we have here, or the scrambler. The difference is that the scrambler gets a fly screen, a lovely beak under the headlight, and a tail section that extends beyond the seat to form a sort of mini mudguard. Oh, and it also sports wire spoke wheels as compared to the alloys you see on this one. And as you might have guessed already, I think this is a smashing looking thing. But that's hardly where the story ends. It's on the move that it picks up a second wind. It has six and a half in its name because there's a 649cc inline twin engine between my legs. This puts out 55 horsepower and 54 Nm. And if you do a little digging around, you'll notice that these figures are quite a bit down compared to other middleweight nakeds you can buy in India. Does that matter? Well, the Italians would like you to believe that it does not. And that's with good reason. It's because at no point while riding this did I think about it needing more oomph. Sure, there's not a lot of go below 3500 revs, but past that, with your right hand twisted fully, the Siemezzo comes on song. There's a strong surge from that mid-range all the way to the red line, and it's all the more enjoyable hitting that red line because of how it sounds. This is hardly a motorcycle to be taken lightly because there's just so much playfulness on the move. Find a corner, tip it in, modulate your throttle and you'd realize just how fluid the 6.5 can be. And this is despite weighing in at 215 kilograms. It needs to be added here that there's such a wondrous predictability with the throttle opening on corner exits. You never need to worry about whacking it open too much and ending up with your front wheel in the air and on towards a tree. It's a friendly, playful alloy, the CMXO. One that eggs you into finding its limits and having a blast while at it. It's even quite easy to navigate potholes and bumps, thanks to the 120mm front and 118mm rear suspension travel. But if you up your speed, the relatively stiff ride will make your spine safer. I suppose the only place the Siemezzo somewhat falls short is in the braking department. Now, despite a twin disc setup at the front, there are two main issues. The bite doesn't come in from the lever until you squeeze it a fair amount. And even after that, the bite really isn't confidence inspiring, especially in panic stop situations. Aside from that, it's really quite hard to point fault with the 6.5. I like it. I really, really do. The color TFT, the all LED headlights, the backlit switch gear. These are all great examples of a bike that's promising a good amount for the money you part ways with. Couple that with the way this looks and... <laughs> anyway, that's that for the Siemezzo. That's that for me. I'm Ronak, this is Forbes in your Momentum. And you don't think anyone's gonna notice if I don't return this, right? Mamma mia.